on Shoot the Messenger every Sunday. Mm -hmm. D-Ruck and Chris G and Mad Dog do their thing, man. They had a great show last Sunday. I'm feeling, feeling that show. Well, you got to come on, man. That's right, man. WYBC Sports Report right now, right here. So before we start, I just want to commend all the hard work and dedication of all the players and coaches, you know, for the entire season. You know, I am proud to say that I am from New Haven. I am proud to say that I'm from this area and we support local teams. Although last night, Hamden, Wilbur Cross, West Haven or Notre Dame, West Haven didn't advance. Uh, in our eyes, they are still champions. Champion. Win, right. lose, yes. and draw. Well, we also want to say that there was a team that did advance last night, and that was Amistad, little, you know, school Amistad. Yes. They were able to advance to the semifinals as they defeat Shelton by the final score at 68 to 59. So good luck to the Wolves. In the NBA, the next, they get a 103 to 75, uh, you know, win victory against the Pistons. Definitely shouts out to the Nets. Brooklyn doing their thing. And the Celtics were in action against the Clippers last night as the Celtics were going to lose by a final score of Hold Your Pants, Juan. 140 to 115. Wow. We all know Juan loved those high-scoring games. Yeah, I do, huh? And back in... No defense. No, no defense at all. And back in the news, the king of controversy himself, uh, Jose Canseco, he's now claiming that A-Rod has been cheating on J-Lo with, get this, his ex-wife. And Jose Canseco says, I want to box A-Rod in the ring. Hmm. Two old men. Two old. No, I say uh, Canseco, he's old, you know. Yeah, he's old. I think A-Rod will have, <laughs> well, he he got a better shot. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, know. he's got always, if you don't know who um, Jose Canseco was back in the 80s, he is known for taking steroids. Him and Mark McGuire were known mm. as the Bass Brothers for the Oakland A's. And, I mean, before steroids was actually, you know, banned and outlawed and looked upon as very bad, he was doing it. And he was, you know, definitely a polarizing figure for baseball and pop culture in the 80s. Uh, but now he's still trying to, you know, you know, get some fame there. So. Yeah, he sound but, bitter. But, yes. you know, yeah, yes. man. And, you know. You, <laughs> and and plus he had the book. Yeah, and very he had yes. the book where he outed everybody. Yeah, he did. So yeah. everybody. I mean, there was no stone unturned. So he's kind of like the black sheep of baseball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. he's just out there just. Snitching. Snitching. Trying to make a name for himself. So yeah. now he wants to fight A-Rod. Oh, want to fight a yeah, mm. so so that's what's going on in sports, guys. There's always something good going on in sports. But again, New Haven, Hamden, West Haven, and all surrounding towns, we appreciate you guys. We salute Speaking you. of two old men fighting. I was going to say, grown <laughs> men should not be that no, salty. Go no, ahead, no, no, no. I, I remember, I remember, you know, like, we never, I never had fights at my parties, right? Never. Because I always had an adult crowd, mature. Yeah. Everybody loved coming to my parties. Still do. Mm. Uh, and we having a party in August, okay? Everybody keep listening for that, you know? Uh at Water's Edge, we're gonna be doing it. Nice. And uh, so, <laughs> the only fight that ever jumped off at my party, two seventy-year-old cats. Yes. <laughs> Stop. I'm not yo. <laughs> right downstairs at Playwright. That's when Playwright. You know, that's where we used to do our old school parties, right? And these two dudes, I guess, they were messing around. Same thing with like Canseco mm -hmm. and Ara, messing around with each other. And the girl came in and. You know, and they, and I'm like, y'all, y'all should be ashamed of yourself. It's not an old man fight unless one of them biting the bottom lip. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, got you now, sucker. Mm -hmm. Hands and walkers. It was, and walkers. it was ridiculous. As a it weapon. Was, I was like, you know, come on, man, you giving me a bad name. Was alcohol involved? Were they sipping on little something? Of course, of course you know, oh. but by the by the end of the day, it was it was a female involved. That's what it was. You know you. what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So, mm. Yeah, it's crazy, man. But old man, don't don't stop fighting. You know, come on now, please, take it easy. Please, right, stay right here. We got. Uh, <laughs> Bell Bid DeVoe and Kurt Frackles. We're going to do a little Al Green. That is yeah, correct. Absolutely. Stay right here.